I'm your Aransas Pass neighborhood news reporter Adam Beam, and if you live in the Aransas Pass area, the nearest EMS was in Ingleside. Until now. <laughs> it was a day that's been five years in the making, one that Carrie DeLeon is glad to finally see. We would not have been able to accomplish this goal without all of those donations and uh, contributions towards the project. Carrie DeLeon is the executive director of Tri-County EMS. They serve Ingleside, Ingleside on the Bay, and Aransas Pass, but the location has had some difficulties. We noticed a trend where we had an increase two and a half fold call volume in Aransas Pass versus the city of Ingleside. Aransas County is designated a health resource shortage area, according to Texas Community Health News, with Aransas Pass being a 12 minute round trip from Tri-County's prior Ingleside location. And those 12 minutes could have meant life or death. And with faster response times, it provides the, the best patient care. You know, the sooner we get there to somebody who's having a serious medical emergency, the better off they'll be because we can get to them faster. With the new sister location, De Leon has already seen a turn for the better. Our first day here, when we opened, we had three calls and our response time for all the calls were less than two minutes each. So uh, we have lower response times and with that, better patient outcomes. Tri-County EMS is operating, but Carrie De Leon says that they are waiting on some interior projects and says they are ready to serve the community. In Aransas Pass, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Adam Beam, Chris 6 News.